Wheat farming in Kenya has evolved over the years with farmers adopting modern farming techniques, improved seeds, and machinery. Wheat is Kenya's second largest grown cereal crop after maize. Consumption of wheat food products has now overtaken maize across the country. Wheat farming in Kenya is a profitable business if proper pest and disease management is implemented. Wheat farming in Kenya is often witnessed in huge farms of Narok, Timau, and Nakuru regions. So today I focus on wheat farming in Timau region, which is in Meru County. David, a small scale farmer, is going to take us through the value chain of wheat and let's learn together guys so don't forget to like the video comment down below and subscribe to my youtube channel so guys stay tuned and watch till the end hello guys welcome to my youtube channel this is nelly underscore bernard in case you're new here karibu sana in case you're returning subscriber welcome back this is the channel whereby you get to learn different ways of farming and livestock keeping so guys as you can see right behind me today my focus is on wheat farming and I happen to be in Timau, whereby a farmer is doing wheat farming and is going to take us through the wheat farming value chain and teach us how to do wheat farming and what we need to know about wheat farming. So guys, without further ado, I'm going to introduce my farmer who is going to take us through these stages of wheat farming. So, Karibu Sana, David. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Karibu Sana. Kindly introduce yourself to my viewers. Okay, this is David Manyiri, a farmer in Timau, a wheat farmer. These are wheat, they are ready for harvest. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And for how long have you been doing this wheat farming? Wheat farming, I've been doing, I kept my, my parents doing it. So when I knew myself, we were, uh, those early stages, those early days, hmm. when we were young, Hmm. We were being introduced to wheat farming, mm -hmm. where we normally, where we were normally doing broadcasting, mm -hmm. because that the method of uh, of planting the wheat. Mm -hmm. So I can say as early as when I was uh, ten years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys. For those who don't know broadcasting, it's just you get the wheat in your hands and then you throw it in the farm like that, just drawing randomly. They have no specific formula to plant it as you can see it is so bush and so cute you can like it i think most people know wheat because we all eat chapatis we all have the mandazis those are the products of wheat and wheat has been planted since the time the Egyptians, wheat. that is when we learned about wheat farming so what do we need uh, for wheat planting wheat planting you only require things mm -hmm. And fertilizer, planting fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Then you should have uh, done your that preparation mm -hmm. early enough. Mm -hmm. uh, this is seasonal. Like here, we normally plant seed wheat, uh, wheat twice in a year. Mm -hmm. The long lane that it begins uh, between uh, March and uh, uh, and July, and then the short lane that it begins the month of September. Mm -hmm. To December. So, which are the best soils when it comes to wheat farming? Uh, the best soils are loam, mm -hmm. loam soil. I can see this is the loam soil. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it will allow uh, proper water drainage. Mm -hmm. uh, what about and the irrigation? The climate. Uh, the, what uh, about the climate? Uh, this is now the slopes of Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. mm, it's cold here. Yeah, guys, we are just near Mount Kenya. Yeah, it's cold. So, which normally do here well, mm -hmm. uh, without challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, because the weather, the weather and the climate is conducive. Okay. Yeah. What time does the wheat farm take in the farm from planting to harvesting? What duration does it take? It's about 90 days, about three, three months. Just three months? Three months. So it is not a crop that stays in no, the farm that no. much like this. And maybe two more, two more, two more weeks mm -hmm. for, for it to, to dry completely. Like you can see now, this is very ready. Mm -hmm. In fact, this should have been harvested as a, 
as early as yesterday mm. yeah so it is just ready for harvesting ready for harvesting so uh does the wheat farming needs a lot of field management practices after you plant okay let me start by saying mm. after you have done the planting mm -hmm. where you normally do broadcasting mm -hmm. you can either do broadcasting and then the the halo mm. will come and uh, do the hallowing mm -hmm. for it to cover it with the soil mm -hmm. together with the with the planting fertilizer yes or lever you can use the machine mm -hmm. there is a, a pre planter the seed driller yeah yeah that's the machine that is normally used for planting that will that will plant uh, a seeds together with the together with the fertilizer okay yeah I, i can see they are so congested because of the broadcasting method yeah. do you like do weeding when it, they are still growing or you don't weed because yeah. i can see the weeds have no space to grow okay what normally happens mm -hmm. at some stage yeah. we will do herbicide you 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 spray herbicides mm -hmm. the selective herbicide mm -hmm. so that you can minimize so that you can control the the weeds okay yeah as you can see here mm -hmm. Uh, there are no weeds yeah so the 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 the, 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 the wheat is very clean yeah yeah you can even enjoy it it is completely weedless it's weedless so after i plant there is nothing like flowering then I, do you spray something for flowering yeah yeah you know what you normally do mm -hmm. um, we normally f uh, spray herbicides mm -hmm. that's about uh, after a month after planting mm -hmm. The, to to minimize the because uh, there is that competition of uh, with the weeds mm -hmm. so we normally minimize that mm -hmm. we, 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 we spray the herbicides yes. minimize that yes and then thereafter maybe after they have started the flowering you you have to spray you have to spray the the the, the fungicide mm -hmm. there is another problem here with the weeds mm -hmm. if you know you don't control that mm -hmm. you end up with the losses Mm -hmm. uh, there is something we call last. Mm -hmm. Like you can see here, I'm getting, I'm holding three hands of wheat with me here. Mm -hmm. These are a result of uh, the last. Mm -hmm. Last has attacked this, and you'll get nothing out of this. Yeah. Yeah. So you can give, uh, you can spray last together with the. Uh, 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 together with the uh, the the uh, 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 aphids. Yeah, aphids, yeah, the insecticides okay. to control the heart, uh, the uh, aphid, aphids. aphids. Yeah. So the rust and the aphids are the pest and diseases that are so common. They are, so, they are so common in the weeds. Uh, Apart from those, the weeds has no pest and diseases management issues. Nothing else. Okay. Totally nothing else. So it is not, not a very critical plant. No. It what is else? something you can grow and just go and do your things. It yeah. doesn't need a lot of close monitoring. Yeah, yeah. What else you can do? Mm -hmm. Maybe you can come up. Uh, you can come again with the top dressing fertilizer. You can do it. You can do the broadcasting method, mm -hmm. or you do the the, the spray, mm -hmm. the foliar, the foliar spray. Yeah. Wow. So they are after. Uh, now we are almost uh, harvesting this one. Mm -hmm. Combine harvester. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do they need so much rain, or they are enough? They are okay with the short rains. No, they are moderate. They also require rain. Okay. They yeah, they are. Rain. They are. They require rain. They require rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The more you get more, the more you get rain, the more you get more produce. So in case. No, the, the, the only time that you don't require rain is mm -hmm. now when they are dry. Uh mm -hmm. Now, if it gets to rain now, mm -hmm. like a period of three weeks. You totally get nothing because they will end up sprouting, mm -hmm. and uh, that will turn into I, 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 into fermentation. Now we start now the process of fermentation. Well, uh, so it is very critical. It's very critical. We normally see we have money when we sell our produce or when we have harvested and we have safely and securely stored our wheat. Mm. Otherwise, if you have this. Which here now? Mm -hmm. When you are happy, like a happy farmer, like I am now, and uh, we, we normally keep on looking for the crowds. Mm -hmm. You can see crowd we start trembling. We have checked this with the computer, but things 
like now they are not allowed uh, so we are waiting for them to come back maybe from uh, the Tivari so when they are here we will be happy now our, our wheat will be harvested okay yeah Aya. So now uh, from there now we talk about the harvesting stage. Yeah. How do you harvest it? You've told me you harvest after 90 days. Yeah. How do you harvest it? It's only uh, the machine, the combine harvester. Mm-hmm. It will come and harvest. Uh, at an, an, an acre goes for, for 3,000 harvesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there is also some cost in harvesting. So we have to look for the new sacks. So, so that after harvesting, you are, you are, you, you, you are able to store your, your wheat. So you can comfortably store your wheat mm-hmm. or even sell. So after you harvest, where do you take the stem? Oh, we have the straws. Mm-hmm, the straws. I'm yeah. going to the stems. The straws, <laughs> we normally use them for feeding our livestock. Mm-hmm. Or use it as a mulching material. Or beddings, okay. yeah, for the for the young ones, yeah. Or even it can also be it can also be combined with the soil for you to under for you to under your mass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can show you how to how to to harvest or how to remove the the weeds. Yeah, we call it threshing. The threshing is very simple and very clear. Mm-hmm. You see, I have my wheat, very clean. Mm-hmm. And they are even sweet. You can eat them when and they are long. When they are raw. Yeah. So now this one will make the wheat flour. This one will make the wheat, wheat flour. flour. And the wheat flour, the pollard, all those by products. You can have a bit and have a bit. They are so sweet. You can feel them. They are hard. Mm. But sweet. Yeah. yeah. So after you harvest them, mm-hmm. where do you take them? Where is your market? Oh, we have ready market. You see, when the moment you see the the machine, the harvesting machine, they normally comes with the buyers, so that they will always ask you whether after harvesting whether you can you are willing to sell to them. Just then. So market is ready. They are at the chamber. Or if you want to keep it. For it to hike the prices, you can lose. Yeah. Okay. So there is no problem with marketing. There is no problem with marketing the wheat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about the market prices? How are they? They keep on fluctuating, but currently they are buying it at 50 shillings per kg. Yeah. 50 shillings per kilo. Yeah. For example, in, in one acre of land, how many kgs can you harvest? You can have it about. Uh, about 20 bucks mm-hmm. in an acre, mm-hmm. 20 bucks of 90 kgs. Yeah. Yes. So, guys, you can do your maths there. Yeah. Mwali mm. maths. Do your maths there and yeah. know how much it is. So, uh, what do you tell that farmer who is willing to do wheat farming and they think to that it's too much work? What, what can you tell them? Uh, wheat farming is simple and very easy. You only require a chamber somewhere mm-hmm. and the seeds. Then you play God for the rains because these are normally we don't we don't irrigate wheat because uh, as you can see them, okay. the stalks are very weak. Yeah. So the procedures of we don't we normally minimize the the entering into the farm of the where you have planted your wheat because you will normally you will injure them or you will damage, you will damage them so you already they already lay in fed mm. yeah okay. so that's it for wheat ah, yeah. so guys i think you've learned uh, one or two things about wheat farming and i hope this video will encourage you and motivate you there who has been wishing to start wheat farming but you've no knowledge I think Mr. David has given us a know-how on how you go. You need to go around about sweet farming. So guys, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for this and much more episodes of Farming with Nelly Bannon. So guys, till next time. So thank you so much for Welcome. giving me your time Welcome. and giving me a tour in your farm. Welcome. I really enjoyed thank it. You. Thank so guys, see you in the next video. Bye.